The Basics A Short Introduction to John's Gospel The first four books of the New Testament are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They are known as the Gospels. The word Gospel means good news. The first three Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, are known as the Synoptic Gospels. Synoptic means see together, and the first three Gospels present the life of Jesus Christ in pretty much the same format. The fourth Gospel, written by John, who is one of Jesus' twelve apostles and the brother of James, presents the life of Jesus in a much different way than the three Synoptics. The first three Gospels focus more on what Jesus taught and did. John focuses more on who Jesus is. John demonstrates to us who Jesus is by highlighting seven signs or miracles of Jesus. Six of these miracles are not mentioned in the first three Gospels. John shows us who Jesus is by calling on witnesses who will testify concerning the identity of Jesus. Four of these witnesses speak in the first chapter alone. John also shows us who Jesus is by allowing Jesus to speak for himself in seven dramatic I am statements. Statements meant to remind both the listener and reader of God's own revelation of himself to Moses at the burning bush. Exodus 3 and 14 says, God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, Say this to the people of Israel, I am has sent me to you. According to John himself, his gospel is written for a specific purpose that we might believe. A key verse for understanding the gospel of John is found at the end of the book. In John 20 and 31 we read, Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. John most likely wrote his gospel from Ephesus sometime between 85 and 90 AD. One of the oldest surviving fragments of the New Testament is a portion of John chapter 18 found in Egypt and dating well before 150 AD, indicating that this gospel was in wide circulation by that early date. The Gospel of John is a beloved gospel. It has been called a pool in which a child may wade and an elephant may swim. Commentator Charles Erdman says, Its stories are so simple that even a child will love them, but its statements are so profound that no philosopher can fathom them. So, if we give diligent attention to entertainment, sports, music, or the news, how much more should we give diligent attention when a man is speaking from heaven and utters a voice plainer than thunder? Being the fourth and final gospel, one may think that the Gospel of John completes the story of Jesus. However, John makes it clear that the story of Jesus can never be completed. John 21:25 reads, now there are also many other things that Jesus did. For every one of them to be written, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. Now, let us begin our journey through this beloved gospel, the good news about Jesus Christ, told to us from the perspective of the Apostle John, the disciple whom Jesus loved.